A plastic anemia. Wikipedia article audio. A plastic anemia is a rare disease in which the bone marrow and the hematopoietic stem cells that reside there are damaged. This causes a deficiency of all three blood cell types, red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. A plastic refers to inability of the stem cells to generate mature blood cells. It is more frequent in people in their teens and twenties, but is also common among the elderly. It can be caused by heredity, immune disease, or exposure to chemicals, drugs, or radiation. However, in about half the cases, the cause is unknown. Signs and Symptoms Causes The definitive diagnosis is by bone marrow biopsy, normal bone marrow has 30-70% blood stem cells, but in a plastic anemia, these cells are mostly gone and replaced by fat. First line treatment for a plastic anemia consists of immunosuppressive drugs typically either anti-lymphocyte globulin or anti-thymocyte globulin, combined with corticosteroids and cyclosporin. Hematopoietic stem cell transplantation is also used, especially for patients under 30 years of age with a related matched marrow donor. Anemia may lead to malaise, pallor, and associated symptoms such as palpitations. Low platelet counts if present is associated with an increased risk of hemorrhage, bruising and petechiae. Low white blood cell counts if present leads to an increased risk of infections which can be severe. A plastic anemia can be caused by exposure to certain chemicals, drugs, radiation, infection, immune disease, in about half the cases. A definitive cause is unknown. It is not a familial line hereditary condition, nor is it contagious. It can be acquired due to exposure to other conditions but if a person develops the condition, their offspring would not develop it by virtue of their gene connection. Diagnosis a plastic anemia is also sometimes associated with exposure to toxins such as benzene, or with the use of certain drugs, including chloramphenicol, carbamazepine, felbamate, phenytoin, quinine, and phenylbutazone. Many drugs are associated with aplasia mainly according to case reports, but at a very low probability. As an example, Chloramphenicol treatment is followed by aplasia in less than 1 in 40,000 treatment courses, and carbamazepine aplasia is even rarer. Exposure to ionizing radiation from radioactive materials or radiation-producing devices is also associated with the development of a plastic anemia. Marie Curie, famous for her pioneering work in the field of radioactivity, died of a plastic anemia after working unprotected with radioactive materials for a long period of time, the damaging effects of ionizing radiation were not then known. Treatment A plastic anemia is present in up to 2% of patients with acute viral hepatitis. One known cause is an autoimmune disorder in which white blood cells attack the bone marrow. Short-lived aplastic anemia can also be a result of parvovirus infection. In humans, the P antigen, one of the many cellular receptors that contribute to a person's blood type, is the cellular receptor for parvovirus B19 virus that causes erythema infectiosum in children. Because it infects red blood cells as a result of the affinity for the P antigen, Parvovirus causes complete cessation of red blood cell production. In most cases, this goes unnoticed, as red blood cells live on average 120 days, and the drop in production does not significantly affect the total number of circulating red blood cells. In people with conditions where the cells die early, however, 
parvovirus infection can lead to severe anemia. Follow-up More frequently parvovirus B19 is associated with a plastic crisis which involves only the red blood cells. A plastic anemia involves all different cell lines. Prognosis In some animals, a plastic anemia may have other causes. For example, in the ferret, it is caused by estrogen toxicity, because female ferrets are induced ovulators, so mating is required to bring the female out of heat. Intact females, if not mated, will remain in heat, and after some time the high levels of estrogen will cause the bone marrow to stop producing red blood cells. The condition needs to be differentiated from pure red cell aplasia. In aplastic anemia, the patient has pancytopenia resulting in decrease of all formed elements. In contrast, pure red cell aplasia is characterized by reduction in red cells only. The diagnosis can only be confirmed on bone marrow examination. Before this procedure is undertaken, a patient will generally have had other blood tests to find diagnostic clues, including a complete blood count, renal function and electrolytes, liver enzymes, thyroid function tests, vitamin B12 and folic acid levels. The following tests aid in determining differential diagnosis for aplastic anemia. Treating immune-mediated aplastic anemia involves suppression of the immune system, an effect achieved by daily medicine intake, or, in more severe cases, a bone marrow transplant, a potential cure. The transplanted bone marrow replaces the failing bone marrow cells with new ones from a matching donor. The multipotent stem cells in the bone marrow reconstitute all three blood cell lines, giving the patient a new immune system, red blood cells, and platelets. However, besides the risk of graft failure, there is also a risk that the newly created white blood cells may attack the rest of the body. In young patients with an HLA-matched sibling donor, bone marrow transplant can be considered as first-line treatment, patients lacking a matched sibling donor typically pursue immunosuppression as a first-line treatment, and matched unrelated donor transplants are considered a second-line therapy. Medical therapy of aplastic anemia often includes a course of antithymocyte globulin and several months of treatment with cyclosporin to modulate the immune system. Chemotherapy with agents such as cyclophosphamide may also be effective but has more toxicity than ATG. Antibody therapy, such as ATG, targets T-cells, which are believed to attack the bone marrow. Corticosteroids are generally ineffective, though they are used to ameliorate serum sickness caused by ATG. Normally, success is judged by bone marrow biopsy six months after initial treatment with ATG. One prospective study involving cyclophosphamide was terminated early due to a high incidence of mortality, due to severe infections as a result of prolonged neutropenia. In the past, before the above treatments became available, patients with low leukocyte counts were often confined to a sterile room or bubble, as in the case of Ted DeVita. Regular full blood counts are required on a regular basis to determine whether the patient is still in a state of remission. Many patients with aplastic anemia also have clones of cells characteristic of the rare disease paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria, sometimes referred to as AA-PNH. Occasionally PNH dominates over time, with the major manifestation intravascular hemolysis. The overlap of AA and PNH has been speculated to be an escape mechanism by the bone marrow against destruction by the immune system. 
Flow cytometry testing is performed regularly in people with previous aplastic anemia to monitor for the development of PNH. Untreated, severe aplastic anemia has a high risk of death. Modern treatment, by drugs, or stem cell transplant, has a 5-year survival rate that exceeds 85%, with younger age associated with higher survival. Mayo Clinic, Medline Plus Encyclopedia 000554 Idiopathic Aplastic Anemia, The Aplastic Anemia Trust Survival rates for stem cell transplant vary depending on age and availability of a well-matched donor. Five-year survival rates for patients who receive transplants have been shown to be 82% for patients under age 20. 72% for those 20-40 years old, and closer to 50% for patients over age 40. Success rates are better for patients who have donors that are matched siblings and worse for patients who receive their marrow from unrelated donors. Older people, and people who are unable to find a good bone marrow match, Undergoing immune suppression have five-year survival rates of up to 75%. Relapses are common. Relapse following ATG slash cyclosporin use can sometimes be treated with a repeated course of therapy. In addition, 10-15% to 15 of severe aplastic anemia cases evolve into MDS and leukemia. According to a study, for children who underwent immunosuppressive therapy, about 15.9% of children who responded to immunosuppressive therapy encountered relapse. Milder disease can resolve on its own.